Hey guys, what's going on? Happy Conservation Pack launch day. This is the third of four animal overview videos that we're going to be doing today. And of course, as you can tell, we are going to be talking about the Siamangs. So they're all hanging out in this little makeshift enclosure here, uh, all in the back for some reason. But these are one of four habitat animals that are brand new with the Conservation Pack that launches in a about an hour. So in this video, we're going to talk all about them, their enrichment, their needs in game, and then take a look at some of their animations that they have in the game. So let's get started with their enrichment. You can see some of it in here, but I have it all kind of laid out over here. So these are all the enrichment items that they can use. Um, very familiar ones from other primates in the game and uh, nothing too new here. I do like that they can use like these these climbing things. Uh, these came with the Europe pack specifically for the Eurasian lynx, uh, but they can climb all over that, which is great. They can use the piano, of course. We'll get into that animation in just a little bit. And then the main new enrichment item for these guys is going to be this. This is the, I just placed down the, um, uh, what's it called? The blueprint one that comes with the pack. But these are actual pieces here and they're metal climbing fence frames. They are in the enrichment menu. Uh, if you scroll down, they're somewhere here, uh, right here. So they come in a couple different modular pieces here that you can see, and you can kind of put them together to create different climbing frames. They even have a, just a plain metal pole there. And they can climb and swing all over that. But we'll get into those animations in just a little bit, like I said, but it's pretty cool to watch. I'm very excited about it. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on one of these guys and talk about their Zoopedia. So as always, a little bit of information about them here. Of course, they're considered endangered, which is why they're included in the conservation pack. If we go to the natural habitat tab, you can see continent uh, Asia, which actually is the same as the last two that I've recorded as well. Um, Indonesia uh, and Thailand and Malaysia are the areas that they can be found. They like tropical. And then you can see here are their in-game habitat needs. They really do not need a lot of space, which is great. If there's two, three, four, five, so on and so forth, just to give you an idea. And then if we move to their species data tab, you can see they can have groups of two to six, five males and up to five females. So it's good. You don't need to have just one male and the rest be females. Bachelor groups or um, uh, female groups can be two to six, uh, same on both sides. They are monogamous when they're dating, so they're going to pick a mate and stick with them. Um, dominant mated pair leading the family and they are confident around humans but no please don't let your guests in their habitat uh, research tab has nothing for us. And then they do have a interspecies enrichment with the orangutan. So that is pretty cool. Those guys can go in together and have a good old time. Now with that out of the way, and I say out of the way because animations are my favorite part of these videos, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these guys and what they are going to do in game. Starting off with a very simple one, they sit. So sometimes they'll walk around, sometimes they'll sit and hang out just like this and just look around. And then sometimes their sitting will turn into napping and they'll curl up in this little ball and they'll go to sleep. And then sometimes the, okay, I'm gonna be done with that. Then they'll eat. <laughs> they'll sit down and they'll eat on their little uh, foraging tray. It's the same animation if they use the foraging enrichment item. They kind of pick through stuff and then throw stuff over their shoulder. And then this next one is what I'm most excited about. So this is the group calling animation. And if you listen here in just a minute, because I'll shut up so you can hear it, they kind of call together. They're very vocal. So here you go, listen to it for just a minute. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
It's really cool how that works, and I love that they've added that in the game. They have a couple different social animations, so this being one of them, they kind of sit together and call together. And then the little baby we'll see right here does it too. They sit and kind of talk to each other, chat back and forth. I absolutely love it. They're just, they're constant noise. They honestly, they, they talk all the time, which is great. It's really reflective of what they are in uh, real life. Then we have a mating animation. We'll see it one more time uh, right here. It's pretty quick. They kind of sit down, give each other a hug. It's very sweet. This one's glitched into the ground just a little bit, but that's okay. Moving on to the disco ball where they kind of walk up, scare themselves, fall back on their butts, and then that's about it. They, of course, have a piano animation because they have to, right? They play with their hands, their feet. I think it's absolutely adorable. They get really into it, make lots of noise. I love it. It's fun, fun stuff to watch. And then moving on to a foraging enrichment item where they kind of look at it, kind of uh, spin it a little bit. And then here in just a second, he's going to grab it with both hands and kind of spin it really hard. And some of the seeds or food or whatever they've hidden in there comes spinning out. It spills on the floor and then he kind of picks it up and eats it from there. Again, not a super new animation, any of these, but just fun to see them actually actually doing it in the game. And then what we're all here for, right? What we've been waiting for, the swinging, the brachiation. So this is them using that new enrichment item, swinging back and forth, love to see it. They'll kind of go around together. Uh, they'll take pauses. They swing up onto the top of it. They kind of hang here like this and just kind of idle and hang out. Um, I'm going to switch to a different clip. You'll be able to see it one more time. I was really happy with how this came out. Now, there is a small glitch right now as the game launches. I think between going uh, on the climbing, uh, climbing items, like the habitat climbing beams and these new enrichment items, but for Frontier is aware. I was sent an email today letting me know that they do know about it and they're going to be fixing it. So if any of the climbing animations are a little weird for you, Frontier is aware and they are fixing it just as soon as they can. But that's it. That is it for these guys. I hope you enjoyed. I really liked watching them run around in this little habitat and I can't wait to build something proper for them. I have no ideas yet, so any inspiration down in that comment section below is greatly appreciated. But that is it from me for this video. I have one more to record after this, but hopefully you are enjoying it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk at you in the next video. Bye.